Welcome back to the Sikkim Podcast. I'm your host, John Morris. On this week's episode, we're joined by Baylor Acrobatics and Tumbling's Bailey Humphrey. The senior out of Arizona is one of the premier athletes in her sport and is enjoying another excellent season with the Bears. Now she's looking forward to capturing another national championship and a unique life after college. Bailey, welcome in to the Sikkim Podcast. <laughs> Thank you. Great to have you with us. <laughs> Thank you. This is fun. Acrobatics and tumbling, mm-hmm. uh, kind of winding down, or, yeah. or is it winding down, or is it gearing up? I mean, it's gearing up. Mm-hmm. Up, right? Oh, it's gearing up. We're getting ready. <laughs> I know how you are. I know mm-hmm. that, that you want to just get better as mm-hmm. the season goes on and be at your absolute best. Mm-hmm. You uh, most recently beat Oregon. Mm-hmm. Nationals are right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like you, you've done that? You're at your best right now? Um, not. We are slowly getting there. Uh-huh. Like We are getting more consistent. Um, we are working hard. We're just making sure that we are at our prime when we reach the national championships. Look at you. Best team ever in acrobatics <laughs> and tumbling, and you still want to be better. Yes, <laughs> yes. We are still climbing up, still That's climbing good. up. That's Coach P in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> How great is it uh, competing uh, with and being coached by Felicia Mulkey? Oh, I get emotional every time I talk about her because she's amazing. She's so good at coaching teams and just bringing us all together and to just get us really close and just knows how to coach us all the way through. So it's really awesome to be coached by her. It's such an honor. It shows. Great program. Let's go uh, back to the beginning for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Born, uh, raised in Arizona? Yes. Yeah. What mm-hmm. city? Uh, Chandler, Arizona. Chandler, Arizona. That's mm-hmm. a great area. Yeah. What were you involved in sports? sports-wise when you were younger? So I did artistic gymnastics for about 10 years of my life. That has the vault, the bars, the beam, and the floor. And then I transitioned to acrobatic gymnastics for about a year and a half. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And was that a good area for that, the the gyms there that you were part of? Yes, it was really small for acrobatic gymnastics. There was only like one gym in Arizona, Mm -hmm. and I was grateful to to have been able to get to it. Wow, so really? yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, is, is that gym now have your picture up on the wall? <laughs> yeah. Bailey Humphrey trained. It has a Baylor flag. Does it? <laughs> yep. That's good. For when I signed it, yep. Oh good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Uh, any other sports you were involved in? Um, when I was six I actually played flag football. There you go. <laughs> yep, so that's different, right? That's very different, right? Yep. Right. One mm-hmm. year? Yep, one year just like life. one yeah, like one season. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good deal. And through high school were mm-hmm. you in uh, uh, gymnastics or mm-hmm. artistic gymnastics? Yeah, mostly artistic gymnastics. Right. And then my senior year of high school was acrobatic gymnastics. Ah, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yep. So give up, what's the difference there? So artistic gymnastics does the events such as the vault, the bars, the beam, the floor. Gotcha. It is more individual, mm-hmm. I would say. Mm-hmm. And then acrobatic gymnastics, that's where you have like a partner and you do all the crazy lifting each other up, throwing, gotcha. catching, but like you do routines together, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, very mm-hmm. much so. Yep. That's good. And uh, when you started rec- being recruited mm-hmm. by Baylor, were mm-hmm. you recruited by other schools? Or what was yes, the both Baylor and Oregon. Baylor and Oregon. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Um, so what was that like for you to go through that process? It was fun. I never thought I would be a collegiate athlete because I just had learned about the opportunity about collegiate acrobatics and tumbling. So to get recruited by both those schools, I was so grateful. And then when I stepped onto Baylor campus, I was like, this is my home. Oh, so, nice. That's yeah. great. Did you visit Oregon? Yes, I did. Good, mm-hmm. good. Um, and, and what was the pitch from Coach Felicia Mulkey? you know, about bringing you here, mm-hmm. about being a part of the program. Mm-hmm. What was that like? Yeah, she just talked about what kind of program they are at Baylor and, like, her values and her teachings. And it just seemed like one I connected with so much. And I could see myself here for the next four years. And it just felt like this was my place and this is where I would grow into the human I am today. Nice. Very good. Mm-hmm. You're a senior now. Uh, yeah. Your days at Baylor are winding down. Yeah. How has the experience been uh, off the mats, like, besides athletics? Mm-hmm. Amazing. I'm just enjoying, you know, just, school, you know, having one class this semester. I'm just enjoying my, my downtime, but just cherishing every moment because I remember at the beginning of this year, I was like, oh, I still have a whole year left and it's almost done. So I'm just trying to just cherish every moment, you know, every piece that goes by and just, you know, not taking it for granted. So. Here are some student athletes that are in your position about mm-hmm. to graduate, mm-hmm. and, and they say it just flies by your time yeah. here. Do you feel that? Yeah, <laughs> like senior year, especially, it's yeah. just it's gone, and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> I feel like I'm still a freshman. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And uh, so let's talk about let's go back to Arizona a little mm-hmm. bit more. Arizona Olympian, 
level four artistic gymnast in high school. Um, that's that's up there. Isn't it? <laughs> well, I actually managed to get to level ten with artistic gymnastics, oh, okay. and that's like the highest level you can go with artistic. Okay. So I was really proud, and that's why I felt content moving on to a different, you know, athletic sport such as acrobatic gymnastics. Because my time with artistic gymnastics had been, you know, through and done, and that, that chapter was closed. Yeah. So yeah. Very nice. Sorry, I shortchanged you. Yeah. Say level 10. Yeah. <laughs> Got to the top there. Yeah. And what's the next challenge? Um, Is that part of it? Yeah, kind of, you know, I just, level 10 was just the highest I wanted to go. And so I was just like, I want to see what else is out there. So my senior year, I kind of branched off a little bit and did a whole different type of gymnastics and it ended up being really fun. So. Got that. And uh, when you got here, uh, actually you went to a community college yep. for a year, mm -hmm. right? Mesa? Yep. Yep. Is that right out there? Yep. Yep. It's right outside of Chandler. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you went there for a year yep. and then come to Baylor. Mm -hmm. And then the timing of it, we were talking about it, yep. was right after COVID. Yep. Right? Yes. That's an odd time, isn't it? Very to much. Away to school? Yes. <laughs> yes. COVID really changed things a little bit. Just we were talking about, you know, wearing masks all day and getting tested twice a week. It was just it was just a different view of how you thought you would come into college, right? right. But hey, it's it's a challenge, got through it and wouldn't change it. So Y'all handled it well. Wearing yes. Masks, mm -hmm. tests. I remember yep. the test twice yeah. a week. So. Brought us closer together as a team, right? Because, yeah. you know, we all went through the challenge of COVID. We were, the season, we just didn't know what was going to happen. And then we all came together. And so, yeah. I can see that. I think um, student athletes and teams that mm -hmm. went through that, they went through it together. Yeah. And they've kind of got that bond mm -hmm. that uh, is maybe different from other sports. Yeah, for sure. Because I know we even bring it up sometimes. We'll joke. We're like, oh, do you remember freshman year when you had to wear the masks all the time? We didn't even know what each other's face looked like the first week of school. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely all brought us close together. And we just get to share those memories together. So. Good. And what yeah. was travel like? Was that a challenge? It kind of, a little bit. You right. were. It was just like... You know, you just didn't want to get COVID, right? It's yeah. just a constant kind of worry of like, okay, we just have to make sure, like, you know, we wash our hands all the time and we stay with each other and, you know, so. So you come in, you're going through COVID, mm -hmm. and if I remember right, you had an injury early on? Yeah, my freshman year, I Ugh. tore my Achilles. Oh, man, <laughs> yeah. Achilles. Yep. Oh, how did it happen? Um, I was tumbling, yeah. yep, and then it just... Oh, yep. I've heard people talk about that injury, mm -hmm. and the best description I've heard is it felt like you got shot. Y yep, is that right? literally, <laughs> literally like shot in the calf, and you're like, oh God, and your foot just kind of... Right, yep. right, right, mm -hmm. because you lose... Yep, you lose the tendon, tendon. yep, mm -hmm. exactly. yeah. So that happens, mm -hmm. and... Uh, how did you handle that mentally? It was really rough um, at the beginning mentally. I just remember I had to like change my perspective of like, okay, what kind of teammate do I need to be now, mm -hmm. right? And so I kind of changed my perspective of like, now I need to be the teammate that cheers like crazy on the yeah. side, you know, even though I'm not on the mat, I'm still part of the team and now I just have a different role I have to play. And so that, it was definitely like challenging kind of, you know, going through that role um, change, but yeah. Yeah. That's a great approach. Yep. Rehab, what was that like for you? Oh, I never thought I'd have to learn how to walk again. Really? But that was that was a tough rehab just, you know, cuz you lose so much in your leg and right. learning how to walk again, it was it was tough, but you know, I got excited over the baby steps and that's kind of what gets you through the journey of like, okay, now I'm out of the boot. Okay, now I'm learning how to walk. Okay, now I can run. Like you just take, you know, the baby steps, you know, as they come. That's so. Nice. Very yeah. Good. And you gotta, I mean, you've got to rehab that 100%, oh. 150%. Right? Oh, yeah. You've got to have your wheels. Mm -hmm. Yep, because right? I got hurt in March, okay. and then a lot of my rehab took place in the summer. So most of my summer was, was doing rehab to get ready for fall. Uh, who, mm -hmm. uh, who was it that walked beside you during that? Time. Oh gosh, I had a whole village. Yeah, you know, yeah. I had my coaches, my teammates, my parents, my mom especially. She's my best friend, yeah. and then my physical therapist. Just, I had a whole village. Uh -huh. You know, which I wouldn't have been able to get through it without them. So, yeah. well, was that going on here, or did you go back home to Arizona? Yes, it, half of it was right. here. Yep, and then I went home for the summer. So it was kind of fifty-fifty. Gotcha. You uh, come back through that injury mm -hmm. and 100%, uh, you bounced back and had a great sophomore season. <laughs> that had yeah. been very gratifying for you. It was amazing. I was just so excited to be able to compete again, you know, and you know, that's when I had, had Jordan and we busted out the one arm and like just kind of changing the sport in a way. And it was just such a fun year for Good. sure. 
So Jordan comes in. It's Jordan Grindler. Yep. She comes in a year behind you. Mm-hmm. And is there an instant connection between you two? I, I will never forget this. The first time we worked together, Coach Fee was like, okay, I'm going to put you guys together. You just come up with some crazy acro skills. And we were like, okay. And I remember Jordan looking at me, and I was like, hey, what are you wanting to try? She goes, let's try a one arm. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, okay. And then we tried it. And then all of a sudden, we, yeah, we had, we've had this instant connection for the past three years of just coming up with the crazy stuff that so it's great yeah and the challenge is y'all keep coming up with new stuff <laughs> yep too, right? that, yes that really am i right nobody else is doing this right no yep other team, no yeah. other programs no other yeah no not yet not yet right. not yet right they're hoping to get to yep. that point mm-hmm. is that fun for you and jordan to uh to kind of raise the bar on on uh events and, and mm-hmm. what you do yeah because it just opens the box for creativity and we just kind of look at each other and go okay well what can we do so it kind of pushes us in a way you know of like sure. all right what are we going to do this season right yeah. so yeah okay so there was the one arm yep then there was the pencil yep <laughs> yep what, and then the circle and then the boomerang oh, yeah and yeah. then yep the ring yep boomerang. i know exactly what you're talking yeah. about yep yeah. yep that's great yeah is there anything y'all have thought of and uh it got lost on the cutting room floor like, let's try this, mm-hmm. but then it didn't really work. Yeah, it yeah, we've definitely tried some where we're like, uh, you know, we tried, but we'll move on because we're better at, you know, certain things. Right. But yeah, so. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. And the reaction, uh, what's, what's the reaction that you, you know? <laughs> I just get so excited. Like, yeah. if you, like, watch our videos, like, after, you know, the boomerang or, like, you know, the one arm arch that we debuted this year as well, I just get so excited because it's just so fun to perform, and it's just awesome to see people's reactions. So, yeah. yeah. I've seen I've seen people's reaction. I've seen your reaction, <laughs> yep. which is really fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I just get so excited, and I can't contain it. So Good. it's going to get out there. <laughs> What's your match day routine? Is there anything you do Ooh, on a match? That's Ooh, a good question. Ooh, that is a good question. Anything you do that makes you just feel like you're ready to go? Yeah, honestly, you know, just – being around my teammates, you know, just kind of their aura that they bring definitely draws me in. And then we kind of just are goofy and do our own thing until what Coach V calls flip the switch, whereas when we go out for walkabout. So kind of just having a chill, cool mindset before we have to flip the switch. Gotcha. So, yeah. I've seen the teacher flip yep, the switch. Yep, flip the switch. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Which is absolutely appropriate. Yeah. Y'all do that so very well. Mm-hmm. What, what's it like when you get into that mindset? When you flip the switch mm-hmm. and you're ready to mm-hmm. compete? Yep. It's just like, like, watch me hit this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, watch us do our thing like we are ready we're we've done we've done the training we're getting consistent kind of talked about how i talked about before and just watch us do this yeah. watch our hard work pay off yeah. you know that's so, so. cool mm-hmm. and there's a confidence level in that too you know, yep. in there yes that yes you have to have mm-hmm. and that y'all do that yes and coach she does a such good job of teaching us that mm-hmm. throughout the whole year you know it doesn't it's just not just one day it's the whole year of where she teaches us how to flip the switch and how to be confident on the mat and to just watch us hit it so yeah all right, some of your honors through the years, mm-hmm. uh, and and they're not done yet. You've been the uh, specialist of the week mm-hmm. uh, three times, mm-hmm. athlete of the week, NCATA, seven element acro national <laughs> champion. Yep. Congratulations, NCATA Thank you. specialist of the year, mm-hmm. NCATA All American 2021 national championship mm-hmm. team, several national championships there. Yep. Those are great honors. For <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yep. that's is that something? What does that mean to you? It just means so much, you know, just all your work, all your hard work is paying off and it's just, it's just awesome to showcase and I couldn't have done it without my teammates. So, yeah. It is a team sport, but individually, Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's got to do their job. Yep, for sure. Oh yeah. Everyone has to do their job because that's how it all incorporates together so we can all hit our stuff together. Especially the base. I mean, everything builds on the base, right? Yeah. (laughs) The foundation. Yeah. Literally Mm -hmm. and figuratively, that's true. How about... um, a and T continues to move up. Fee mm-hmm. is a big part of that. Yes. So many new schools. Are so being many, added. yeah. Like you all went to New York this yes. year and mm-hmm. competed against who was it? Iona. Iona, yep. And then LIU. That's it. Mm-hmm. LIU, two yep. new schools. Yes. Which I mean, to me, that's like the New York Yankees yeah. coming to town. With Baylor <laughs> yep. Acrobatics yep. and <laughs> goes to those schools. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, and they were awesome were to they? compete against, and they looked so good. I was I was so proud of them for their first year. It was amazing to see. Yeah. to see their journey this first year. And I'm excited to see their future. It's only just going to get brighter. That's so it. Yeah. 
the the sport continues to really grow. Yeah, fees a big part of that. Is mm -hmm. that fun? Yes, Maybe it's awesome. Fun. I know. I, sh I love how she always tells us like when a new school gets added or something. I've lost count. There's just so many now. Oh, but okay. it's just she gets so excited too because you know the sport is just only going to continue to grow and it's amazing to see. So is it uh, gratifying to you or do you ever let yourself think about you know you're on sort of the ground level mm -hmm. of this sport mm -hmm. and then think about where it's going to be moving forward. Yeah, even just from my freshman year to my senior year it's just grown astronomically and it's it's just so awesome to see because I'm like yeah. yes people now know what acrobatics and tumbling is good. and like look at it we, like we do some cool things so yeah it's awesome good when you went to New York and mm -hmm. those two competitions there mm -hmm. y'all got to uh, sightsee a little bit yep that mm -hmm. was fun yep you were in Times Square yes we were yep. you didn't miss the opportunity <laughs> to uh, kind of put on a show you're right yeah we had to do an acro out there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. So we had to do something. That's pretty good. Yeah. Now, uh, that's concrete also. There's no yep. mat under you. Nope. So you got to be careful. <laughs> hey, got to trust each We trust each other, you know? <laughs> We're teammates. Right. We got this. Right. So, yeah. Did you, uh, what was the reaction of folks there? <laughs> they, they were, you know, people just stare yeah. and they're just like, oh, so it's awesome. That's yeah. Neat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that go on in Times Square. Yeah. So we kind of fit in, I you know, if you think that's about it. True. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. Major mark there. Yeah. How about, um, yeah, this regular season, mm -hmm. y'all finish undefeated again. Mm -hmm. I think the mark is, as we record this, 35 straight yeah. wins mm -hmm. for regular acrobatics yep. and tumbling. Yeah. That's a huge stretch. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, you know, we're just still, we're still just going up yeah. before the championship. So we're just so excited for the Natties. And, you know, our practices are going really good, getting more consistent, just getting stronger, building up the confidence to go in and execute. Good. So. You say uh, getting stronger, mm -hmm. and I like to say, and nobody disputes it, <laughs> acrobatics and tumbling student-athletes mm -hmm. are the strongest pound-for-pound pound of any student-athletes mm -hmm. we have on campus. <laughs> Yes. You're not going to disagree with that, right? Uh, no, no. In fact, when I said that earlier, you gave me a fist bump. Yes, so yes, yes. It's absolutely true. Mm -hmm, I mean, that yeah. core strength you yeah. have is just amazing. Yeah, and the weight room. We, right. we go hard in the weight room. Right. And that honestly is what translates onto the mat, is yeah. what we do in the weight room, for yeah. sure. So, Golly. yeah. That is really impressive. <laughs> yeah. And how about um, uh, going to nationals? Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have a great ability to mm -hmm. focus on every, you know, every match. Yeah. But when you get to the Nationals, I mean, that's it. You're yep. going for would be your ninth straight mm -hmm. national championship for Baylor this yep, year. Yep, yep. And just got to take it one day at a time, one meet at a time, and just execute to our fullest and just put we, you know, perform. Right. Just all of our hard work, just go out there and just, you know, hit. So. Yeah. talked about Coach V and how great she is, but mm -hmm. she's got a great staff, too. Right? Yeah, oh, the village. We yeah. love the village. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're awesome. They always have our back, yeah. and, you know, it's amazing. Good. So Kelsey is great. Yes. Yeah. is great. Mm -hmm. Coach Trevor, Shayla, Coach Cass, Shayla, yeah. the whole the whole village. Yeah. Yeah. So It really does take a village. It, it does, you know. <laughs> So your uh, your time at Baylor is uh, starting to wind down. Mm -hmm. You're gonna graduate on May 10th. Yeah. Yeah. What's that yep. going to be like for you? I don't know if it's hit me yet. Really? You know, like it's kind of hitting me because, like, you know, we're down to our last, you know, few competitions. But I don't think it'll hit me until like graduation day, and I'm like, oh no, like. What do I do? <laughs> you know, so. I think it's so cool, y'all. Uh, Baylor student athletes get that uh -huh. stole. Yes. White stole. Oh, it's so pretty. Athlete. Yep. That's neat. I mean, yeah. I hope it means a lot to you. It does. Yeah, I just took my senior graduation yeah. photos and I, I showed it off. Yeah. So it's just exciting. So. Very good. Mm -hmm. So beyond Baylor. Mm hmm. Um, what you gonna do after Baylor? <laughs> so in June, yes. I'm actually gonna try out for the women's Olympic rugby team. Ah. Yep, gonna go to a few day camp where I try out and they, you know, kind of see who I am and everything to that see if I can true. potentially be part of their their roster. The U.S. Olympic rugby team. Yep. Wow. Yep. What's your background in rugby? <laughs> Besides the flag football at seven years old? Uh, yeah. Not much. <laughs> so I'm excited for this challenge, you know, to just see what kind of happens with it. But wow. yeah. How did that come about? Did they contact you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they kind of just came came to us. Okay. Yep. So okay. yeah. So they're looking for, I guess they're looking for athletes. Yeah. Not so much somebody that has a background. Yeah, in just kind of collegiate elite athletes. They're kind right. of just bringing together. So right. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the trials are in San Diego. In San Diego June. at the Olympic Training Center, yeah. Uh, David, we need to go, okay? So we'll be there <laughs> with Baylor. Okay? Awesome, yes, we'll come. <laughs> That'd be fun. Are you excited about that? I'm so excited. I'm just excited for like a new challenge in a way, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. 
Wow, good luck with Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you make that team, that would be fun. Um, tell us about the uh, WWE mm -hmm. NIL program. Yes, yes, it, they call it Next in Line. Okay. So it's their NIL program. They kind of bring in athletes who they think have the potential to do WWE in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually recently just went to one of their events because right. that's part of my NIL is I go to their events and they kind of show me uh -huh. what it's kind of like. And that was really fun because I'd never been to one before. So yeah, it was exciting to see. Yeah, mm -hmm. That. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Would that mm -hmm. be somewhere in your future also? That's another opportunity, yeah. right? Another option. I'm like, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm excited just to see where it all goes. So I hope that happens. Yeah. What about off the mat? Um, what do you like to do? You got any hobbies? Anything Ooh. away from school? Away from athletics? I love to read, okay, and good. I also love to watch scary movies. Oh, so good. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seen any good ones lately? Oh. Not, not recently, right, but right. yeah. You like the slasher or you like the suspenseful? Or? <gasps> yeah, I like slasher or kind oh, of, okay. yeah, like the intense ones. <laughs> my teammates all know this about me, but I just love like, I want to do autopsies in my future, oh. so I love kind of okay. that aspect. So yeah, That doesn't turn your stomach at all. No, nope. Gotcha. I think it's so interesting. What do you think uh, away from athletics after mm -hmm. rugby, after mm -hmm. WWE? Yeah. What kind of line of work do you think you might do? Yeah, so I actually got into grad school as well. So I'm oh. hoping to get like my master's degree okay. as okay. like a pathologist assistant where I'll assist the doctor in doing autopsies and right. figuring out their story. Oh. Yeah. That would be really good. I can see you doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and what's your major again? I'm health science studies with a okay. minor in forensics. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. All right, good luck with that. Thank you. And uh, one question, uh, good luck at the Nationals. Thank you. And one question we like to end with on mm -hmm. our Sikkim podcast is uh, when your time at Baylor is done. Mm -hmm. All right, when you're finished, when you're graduated, yeah. we hope you'll always come back. Mm -hmm. Always. But how would you like to be remembered? Oh, wow, what a, <laughs> what a question. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think I just want to be remembered as... Um, just a really great teammate and someone that you can always count on and always come to um, in need, you know, whether it's through an injury because I've been there or just, you know, with competition, um, kind of like kind of like a silent leader in a way, mm -hmm. you know? Very good. So, yeah. That's good. Would you ever want to coach? I've actually thought about it. Yeah, I, I've had a job of like coaching little kids. I've right. thought about it and it's been fun to just kind of like transfer your knowledge to someone else. So yeah, maybe potentially. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever you do, you'll be a success at it. Thank you. It's been great having you here. Thank you. you. Had great success mm -hmm. uh, individually mm -hmm. and team wise with acrobatics and tumbling. Mm -hmm. And make no mistake, strongest student athletes on campus. <laughs> yes. Are found, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. It. Thanks again for joining us on the Sikkim Podcast, a sport and story production. If you enjoyed this conversation with Bailey Humphrey, head over to BaylorPlus.com or the official Baylor Athletics YouTube channel where you can watch the premium video version of this podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcast, leave a review, and tell your friends about us. I'm your host, John Morris, and I hope you'll join us next week on another edition of the Sikkim Podcast.